All right, welcome to slide eight. So now we're going into the late Middle Ages. So this is the years 1300 to 1500. Um, and performances of religious plays start to be given outside of the churches. And they become really elaborate. They usually extend over several days. Um, and they start drawing on the resources of the entire community. Just like way back in ancient Greece and Rome, theater starts to become a cooperative effort of the church and the state and the citizens. Everyone's kind of pitching in financially, building the sets. Um, it's being funded by the government again. So it's becoming this more of this cooperative community effort. Um, also, we've got all these towns, right, that I talked about on the last, um, sorry, a couple of slides ago. Towns are growing and cities are growing. And with all of that, feudalism is declining. Kings and princes start gaining more control than these, than these lords that had control during feudalism. We've got universities popping up left and right. So people are learning in universities. And with that, um, becomes this interest in things other than religion. Um, and so by 1300, the church's super dominant role in society was starting to be challenged. There are other thoughts being had. There are worlds being opened a little bit more. Um, and so it's this time of transition and change that eventually is going to give rise to the Renaissance but we're not there yet. We're going to get there. Um, so drama is happening, but it continues to be primarily religious. Um, but we have huge significant theatrical changes that take place between the years 1200 and 1400. Um, many, many plays start to be staged outdoors, mostly during spring and summer, which makes sense because that's when the weather is cooperating. Plus, there's a new festival in town. They start the Feast of Corpus Christi. Christi sorry, I almost mispronounced that. The Feast of Corpus Christi. Um, because the, the Christians wanted to give special emphasis to the redemptive power of the consecrated bread and wine. Um, and there were, of course, theatrical entertainments and a huge drama presented at the Feast of Corpus Christi. Um, and that drama told stories of the creation of the world all the way to the destruction of the world. And lots of this particular festival had to do with making the church a much more relevant thing to ordinary people and to their lives. Um, the feast started with this big procession through town with the consecrated host, and it was a real cooperative venture between the church and the laymen of the town, the regular workers of the town. And another huge development in bringing theater back to the common people was that they did away with having their theatrical performances chanted in Latin um, and dialogue began to be spoken, um, not in Latin, just in whatever European language was being spoken in that particular area. And eventually the actors become non-clerical, so they're not even necessarily being acted just by members of the church um, leadership, but by uh, laymen as well of the town. So big developments happening, theaters becoming more and more of the people and not as much of the church, though theater is definitely still a religious matter, okay? I'll see you on the next slide.